the yeah, so uh, the Curtis owns all of this, but we're coming across these cuts like this, and we both agree the guy was. I'm gonna just say polite. I'm gonna politely say it. He was a little bit crazy. Well, a lot crazy, I guess. He pulled guns on people and whatnot. But we think he's he was building a moat back here around this whole property. We say, Curtis. Trying to get some more stuff gone today. We just got some intel from the neighbor that there's supposed to be a dozer here on the property. We've walked, well, we have walked on the other side of the pond where the where the woods and thick brush right. is, so there could be one hidden in there. Wow, I think I might take a hike. We'll see how far I get before I give up. We're, we're making some good forward progress. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Hey guys, Capper here and welcome back. So today's episode is going to be a little bit different on this 8 acre investment property. So we got some intel from one of Curtis's neighbors that there's supposed to be a bulldozer on this property. So we're going to take a little bit of time and explore this. So all this bottom ground here, no one's ever been on. I mean, Curtis owns it, but he was, he's never walked it. And neither have I and neither has Mrs. Capper. So we're going to start making a trek down into this bottom ground on the inside of this uh, creek because that's the inside of the creek the creek is actually the property line so beyond this pond none of us really have ventured it's kind of thick and nasty however now that we know there's intel there could be a bulldozer somewhere on this property we're going to go take a look and uh well we'll take you with us so let's have a little bit of fun don't forget to hit the like button and stay tuned because this series has been really fun so let's go for a little walk all right we're gonna go here it's a middle dam between the big pond and a little another pond here curtis no one's been back here so we don't know what's back here I'll, we'll see what happens a lot of deer trails on this place, man. It lays out really nice for an eight acre slab. All that bottom land up there. This is a muskrat or a beaver trail, or both. You can see it comes right across this dam from one pond to the next. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, this is a pretty cool little waterway right here. And I'm assuming he cut it, either that or Mother Nature cut it for him. Yeah, I think Mother Nature cut it through this dam. So his pond dam, gosh, this pond must have been uh, darn near up to that mobile home. Because this is, this is washed out five, six feet. And then that down there is the creek, another five or six feet below that. A lot of trails in here. We're going to go look for that dozer if there's possible. So we just got into the bottom ground here. Right now we're in that inside of that creek area. And you can guarantee there's deer bedding back here. Looks like another pond right here that he dug. Wow. And it goes quite a ways that direction. Yeah, so uh, the Curtis owns all of this, but we're coming across these cuts like this, and we both agree. The guy was, I'm going to just say polite, I'm going to politely say it, he was a little bit crazy. Well, a lot crazy, I guess. He pulled guns on people and whatnot, but we think he's he was building a moat back here around this whole property and trying to connect in with the creek. Because a lot of this, where him and I are standing, this is probably dug, a part of a dam. That's our guess. We're guesses he was trying to build a moat around it. So we're going to keep going until we find the actual creek. So there's a lot of these little pinch points. Oh, you found, I was wondering if we were going to find a dead deer or two back here. So, so you got part of his pond here. And this big moat here, and there's a well-worn trail right in between them. And we found our first deer carcass. I wondered if we wouldn't find a nice set of antlers, maybe. 
Not much left of that one. Uh, them guys are working on that uh, backhoe. They're close to getting it started, man. I'm gonna, I told them wait till I am available so we can tape that. That's gonna be cool. Will it start? Yeah, them fields are beautiful. You got crop fields out there. So here's where like one of his moats end, okay? You got a little bit of runoff here where I'm showing you. And somebody obviously brought some concrete way back here. But we're gonna keep going because this is beautiful back here, man. I'd love to come in and make about a one acre clearing and put a green plot way back in here. Even for eight acres, man, this, this could be magic. I've done it on 10 acre parcels. I killed one of my biggest buck on a 15 acre parcel. See, here's just another one. He dug this out. Just a, uh, another pond here. You could see that one side is high as opposed to the side I'm on. Bizarre, man. I mean, just bizarre what he was trying to do back here. You can see all these mounds. Most of these are dirt mounds. Uh, not natural terrain. Another deer trail. Oh, this, this. Oh, all right. I'll be right there. Uh, I found a four-wheeler trail. Yeah, this looks like somebody's been in here with a quad. Uh, I think I think Sharon mentioned that to Curtis that we should there's one spot where we need to pile some trees to close somebody off that's been coming in here. But I don't know if she was back here or where she was. What a cool little escape back here. Well I have to turn around because the I made it up to the blue barrel. Um, the, uh, guys are here picking up two trucks, so we'll probably need the excavator, so. Might have to continue this little jaunt in the woods, because I want to go all the way to the back now. So now I'm on the back side of the big pond. Here's another beaver muskrat trail. Goes all the way across this, down into the, oh, I hear a little waterfall. You see the water moving? A little trickle going on there. We'll get back there next time. Okay, this is where they're cutting in across from the neighboring property. This is where Mrs. Capper was talking about. So she has not been back there either. Got to close that off. 